Hey, John here from B2Web. I'm going to briefly show you the features of the TinyMC Advanced plugin. So I have that uh, installed, and so I find that under Settings and TinyMC Advanced. And, uh, you know, this isn't an earth-shattering plugin, but it sure has a few nice features that I like. So you know, normally, I've already added a few things here because it's on the blog, but these are the features that will display in your post and page visual editor so I'll show you that so you just move that here and I'll come back and just show you how to set that up so the editors here so these are the features you have that you can add various types of uh, um, stylistic elements into your post and page content so going back to the actual tiny MC advanced dashboard here and this is a free plugin uh, you just add whichever elements you want by dragging over piece of cake. The only uh, re main reason I get this is I like to have uh, the font family and this here is a table creator so you can create full tables within a page and page or post and I'll show you that. Uh, once in a while I use some of these others for any particular but I don't load them all up. Um, if you put them all in here, if they aren't going to show up, so just be selective. They're not going to show up because it's too many. Uh, now, let me just show you how that table works because that's really the, the big reason I use this plugin. And here we are. So I want to create a table. Here's my table menu here. You start with create a table. And you can choose your columns, rows, and your width and your alignment. Have a border, no border. You have advanced, you can do a border color, background color. So it's pretty cool. And once you have uh, that done, and it shows up like that, it's not very good. Let's make that wider. There we go, so now we have it. We don't have a border. If you do have a border, you'll see it just like that. You can get rid this is something that uh, took me a while to figure out. You see what they got these double lines here? I don't like that one bit. Set your cell spacing to zero and I'll get rid of that. And then you can put whatever you want in there and you can then you've got all these other elements here and you can add a column, sorry, a row, add a column. Uh, you can edit rows, you can edit a particular cell, you can delete a row, you can delete a column, and you can merge that. So it's it gives you a lot of the features of an Excel spreadsheet. Obviously not nearly as many as an Excel spreadsheet, but uh, it's it's great. It sets up uh, basic tables if you want to display data. That's Tiny MCE Advanced Plugin. It's free and you just install it through the WordPress Add Plugin Dashboard.